running is a vocal sport. There's often a lot of yelling as the rocks approach the house. But here in Kelowna, it's the shots being fired outside the rink that are getting the most attention. They put the curlers second, uh, or maybe not even second, but last. Uh, you know, not providing us a place to warm up, not giving us separate locker rooms, um, you know, not allowing us to watch practice, which in my 30 years of curling I've never seen happen before. Here they go, and he caught them both. Newfoundland's Brad Gushu is a household name in curling, a five-time men's national champion, a world champion, and an Olympic gold medalist. This week, he's competing in Kelowna with curlers from around the globe to qualify for the upcoming world championships. But he claims the facilities here are far from world class. There's a level of disappointment. I think, um, you know, the World Curling Federation really penny pinched on the production here and, and has caused, you know, here in Canada, TSN to drop the coverage. Um, you know, that's that's not good for the game. It's not good for the event. And, and uh, you know, just uh, because they wanted to save a few dollars. His main criticism, the venue itself, a local curling club, rather than a large arena. Organizers say even for an international tournament like this, that's not always possible. This is definitely tighter than we're, we're normally at, but you know, we, we hear, the, we hear the, uh, the feedback that we've gotten uh, from Brad and, and take that general feedback and, and you know, work it in as we go forward. Other competitors say a bigger venue would be nice, but for some, like the curlers representing India... This is a sport where the community is bigger than the game itself. What we do on ice is a very small part. It's being able to compete that's important. They've played in some pretty amazing events and some pretty amazing venues. Would this event be a little lackluster compared to some of those? Possibly, but it's a curling event with a bunch of great volunteers and a bunch of great people. As the final rocks are being thrown here in Kelowna, organizers say a bit of constructive criticism is always welcome, even if it's from the sport's biggest name. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Kelowna.